hey guys welcome back to life with the arcas welcome back to our channel if you are new here my name is cheryl my husband is steven fish popularly known as fish and together we are live with the arcas you are so welcome to our channel guys and thank you so much for all the love the comment the likes we really really do appreciate it we will appreciate it more if you share our videos however we've been married for a little over seven months and during our wedding or during our planning i started a wedding series and i said that i i did um, some diys um, for my wedding and so i've been getting comments here and there um, so i decided to do this video to share 10 things that you can diy or within the 10 things things that can help you save wedding costs because weddings are like mind-blowing and it scares the living hell out of men so ladies this is for you <laughs> learn how to do some diys so that you save yourself some cash for your honeymoon or for your life together okay thank you so without further ado let's get into the video the next thing that we're going to talk about is what is diy so when we talk of diy diy is basically it means do it yourself meaning that something that an art or a project that you do it yourself without consulting the services of another that is diy so in weddings what can you diy so number one thing that i'm going to talk about is your wedding invitation cards so your wedding invitation cards personally to me during my wedding i felt they were not really something that was important for me and that i should go make a very expensive invitation card because in our days now we have um soft copies we have virtual invitations we have apps that can help you send invitations and also receive your guests and all that so for us i used um the not for a white wedding because our white wedding was on a tuesday and i was so scared out of my mind as to who is going to leave work to come support me on my wedding day on a tuesday and so i put in the app and i put in the details and i there was a link that um you can share and then those who like to attend will attend so that you know your guest list so that was how come i was able to envisage the number of people that were going to be at my tuesday wedding so you can use that app um, as a means of inv inviting your people and also after your wedding the app allows you to upload pictures that those who couldn't attend can still visit the link and look at them okay so now let's talk about the invitation cards so like i said i didn't think it was a big deal to have a very expensive uh, what you call it invitation cards and so but in our culture and Ghanaian culture or I I think everywhere you need to have the physical invitation cards that your parents will take some of it and then go to their friends or people that are highly respected in society that they would like to attend your wedding and give it to them because such people you can't send them emails or uh, whatsapp or whatever you can't do that so you have to go personally to invite them such people you need and those people are not like as many as you know yes so for me i will link my diys up here you guys can go watch that so i diy my invitation card which is we went to China Mall in Ghana and then we got the invitation cards from there. We had a friend print the flyers out for us for free and then I myself pasted it into the invitation card and basically that was it. And it was beautiful, it was amazing and no one remembers what your invitation card looks like except it was an extravagant and even after your wedding no one cares. So that will save you a lot of cost if you DIY it rather than going to a service that will basically charge you to provide the cards and everything you can do that yourself your gift bag or your souvenir bags or your souvenir package as a whole so basically um for me i got the bags some from china mall and i got some from um, a store on instagram that sells it as wholesale i think i'll put their names here so i did that and I myself printed um, stickers, the same person who printed our flyers printed stickers for us as well and we had a backup. I also put their link here, you can go check them out, they are very affordable as well but they are friends here, so they did it for us for free. So they printed our stickers and my husband and I in the house, we can just, you know, fix it and then I had some friends come over and then we 
pasted the stickers on the paper bags and that was how we put in our souvenirs and that was it but some people will rather outright it to a service or a company that provides that service on instagram and they will be charged so much so much money for that when you can basically get home in the evening after work get all the wedding jitters and then sit down and fix your own it's free and you save a lot of cost on that now what, let's come to the third thing which is the souvenirs so souvenirs for me personally um i got i shared plates i shared napkins i shared face towels share butter and a fan so don't i chose those things because and mark i yeah i think marks I chose those things because basically those are the very important things that people might need especially the fun because i didn't know what the weather nobody knows the weather on their wedding day so if you have a fun and the place is hot they can use it if you have um marks and all that they can still use it at home and all that no need to do exorbitant things for your wedding nobody will, will arrest you for that because after my wedding if you buy a car, if you buy a this, everybody will understand. Oh, okay, they save their money to have a good living. Me giving you a souvenir for my wedding is basically to say thank you for coming, for spending your time with me, enjoying my food, and celebrating with me. That is basically the purpose of souvenirs at weddings. And so you have to give them something that they can keep forever. And I got that idea because I attended a wedding in 2018 and the place that they shared for us i'm still using that plate in my home now and the sticker is behind it and every time i look at it i'm like hey this couple this couple you get it so that saves you a lot of cost instead of going to buy exorbitant water bottles for 300 cities how many guests are you going to provide this for and i feel like this will save us a lot of money the diy number four are your gift wrappings so when we come up to gift wrappings yes there are a lot of instagram people that do that um at a charge because you know some people are really creative and you are not that creative so i feel like when you try to do you can watch videos and you know do a sample if you can then you do the rest because all you need is go to town get your basket get your wrapping um, net or cloth or wrapper and then you get your nice ribbons or bows you get a glue gun and glue the glue is um, a thin hard substance that when you attach with fire it will melt and become very very strong glue and so yeah you can find out make research and they sell it and then you can buy it for yourself and also fix it okay that is your DIY number four DIY number five uh, is your bridal fun and and your bridesmaids um, fun as well. So your bridesmaid fun can be number six. So your bridal fun. Um, <laughs> there's this culture in Ghana that if your bridal fun is not exorbitant, you didn't wait. I don't know who brought that, but <laughs> personally, I didn't pay attention to my bridal fun. To be honest. My brother found was broken on the day of my engagement and no one even noticed. No one noticed. Because I had my brother found made a long time ago, about four or five months before the wedding. And so moving things here and there made it uh, get broken. But nobody even noticed it. And so I don't see why people go pay so much money for... Uh, what's it called wedding fans that you're going to use you can diy that you can go to Marco. makola has everything that you need so you go to makola then you get fun so you choose the fun color so they have sprays so sometimes it comes in wooding and so they have sprays that you can use to you know spray it to the color that you want but if you don't want that as well the fun that i shared so if you don't want that you can get this fan I, this is the one of the fans that i shared at my engagement um ceremony i don't know if you guys can see so pretty it's so beautiful it was sold in bulk yeah so you can buy this and then cover it using the glue that i told you about with a lace or something a color similar a very nice pattern similar to what you'll be wearing that day and then cover the back with it and then you can also cover the front with it you cut it you put it on you cut it 
and then you paste and that is it you get your bridal fan so but if you want your bridal fans to be so special um for your bridesmaids fans as well you you can all diy them you can go get very nice paper bags you watch a youtube video to get that you make everyone try to do their own bridal fans it's a way of bonding with your girls before your wedding day and making them involved as well so i would suggest as a diy idea and a wedding saving cost because some people have over 15 10 bridesmaids and you're going to buy uh, because in weddings you buy certain things for your bridesmaid because you don't want them to spend so much on your wedding day that's me i don't want my bridesmaids to spend so much so i didn't let them spend so much and so yeah you can diy your fun as well as your bridesmaids fun and it'll be a great time bonding all right so let's go to the wedding saving costs so number one thing that i would like to propose is that um your wedding dress you can have a two-in-one wedding dress let me explain so for me uh, my first wedding dress that got spoiled by the seamstress the idea for that dress if i still have the picture i'm going to put a picture on the screen so this is a dress that i wanted and so um there was supposed to be a big bow behind me and that bow drapes into uh like onto the ground as though my dress is flowing so that it will look like a wedding dress and then at the reception i just take off the bow and the bow should be detachable i wanted to take off the bow and then the dress is simple and i use that for my reception that was before i started planning and all that that was what i had in mind so even though it didn't work out for me it would be a great idea for you to be able to save cost on your wedding and your wedding planning okay so you can make your wedding dress two in one and then so you can make the hands the chart mm -hmm. So you can make the hands detachable you can make your um your your ball gown or whatever detachable and then it will help you at your reception you just take any one you want to take off and then your dress will be just as good as new that is one saving call because after your wedding trust me you are not going to use your wedding dress the wedding dress i sew for the second time i'm definitely using that for my naming ceremony sometime in the future because of how I sewed the dress because I envisioned to use it again. So that is one thing that will save you a lot of cost because wedding dresses cost a lot and they cost from a span of 2,500 CDs to as much as 20,000 CDs for your wedding dress. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Other thing to the second thing that can save you um, wedding money or wedding cost is the number of bridesmaids that you have trust me bridesmaids the purpose of bridesmaids is to assist the bride how many people can assist you on that day when you've had everything covered one or two people so personally i used only a maid of honor which is my sister and i didn't need a lot of bridal trail to make them sew dresses that they can't even wear anywhere else because most bridesmaids dresses are long and all that and after they spend so much to to sew their bridesmaid dresses they can't wear it anywhere else and that was so heartbreaking to me i said i'll not let my girls go through that and so yeah i made my sister sew a dress that she can wear for a dinner i'll post her picture you guys will see that here this is a simple dress and people even sell some of these dresses the shorter form so i told her oh after my wedding you can even cut it and then it will be one of those dresses can wear it to a dinner a birthday party anywhere so that was my idea so this is my idea to you reduce your number of bridesmaids because at most two three people can assist you the rest will just be taking pictures of you and funny enough because on my wedding day i had only my sister we were all busy we couldn't take as many pictures before we got to the church as i wanted to so if that is your reason for having 15 bridesmaids go ahead and do it by all means okay all right so let's go to the last thing is your ring baby girl stop pressuring this man about i need a diamond ring i need a gold car i need a this and yes i mean it shows that you are worth it you are worth the carrot you are worth the whatever it's called you are worth all of that baby girl you are a price you are a price that he has won by his hard work but 
to save us money that is why we have me <laughs> to save you money reduce your budget for your ring because one i know people that have very expensive wedding rings as huge as my head and they come to the office and they are not even wearing it they are only wearing the wedding band the one with less designs because one they are afraid that it will, they will it will be snatched off their finger two it's too heavy because you keep ironing you keep washing you keep washing dishes you keep doing that and personally i wouldn't want to remove my ring for any purpose unless i'm just you know i feel like taking it off when i'm washing or anything because the ring that i have when you put it in water that's when it brightens that's why i chose the silver ring so choosing a silver ring also saves you cost and there's no need to have a very 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 expensive ring because trust me the men as soon as that ring removes and get lost getting them to buy a new one is very difficult look into my eyes it's very difficult and you'll be walking around with a huge ass ring and your husband even doesn't have a ring on his finger and so there's no need to invest so much in your ring that is if you are a beginning couple a young couple i i entreat you that you get a very affordable but quality um wedding ring yeah for your wedding so that you can save you cost and as the anniversaries come by you can always upgrade your ring okay so thank you guys so much i hope you have learned something from it if there are any more wedding videos you like me to do baby you know i'm available <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe, share this video to any bride to be your friend that you want to get married. Push them. It is easy. It is easy. <laughs> and then we'll meet again in another video. We love you. Greetings from my husband to all of you. Bye.